Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My boyfriend found out about my family's wealth and accused Maine of hiding it. Now he's gone digging into our private lives. So, I 17F have been dating this guy, Mike 16M, for about three months now. We're both juniors in high school, and everything's been great between us. We met through some mutual friends about eight months ago and hit it off pretty fast. He's funny, kind, and down to earth. Our relationship is amazing, but there's this big difference in our financial situations. My family is doing pretty well. We're not living in a mansion or anything, but we've got a nice house, take a vacation or two every year, and I don't really have to stress about money. I work just to stay busy. I've always been taught not to flaunt what we have, so I never really talk about money with people. Mike's family, on the other hand, struggles a bit more. He's mentioned how they sometimes have trouble paying bills and have to budget carefully. He's made a few comments about rich kids being spoiled or out of touch, so I kept quiet about my family's financial situation. I didn't want him to feel awkward or think differently of me. I love him regardless of his financial situation. He's seen my house and knows my parents run a business, but he doesn't know about the full extent of our finances. Things came to a head recently when Mike and I had dinner with my family and some cousins. During the dinner, one of my cousins mentioned our vacation home in the mountains a cabin we use for camping and hiking. Mike went quiet, and I could tell something was off. Later, when we were alone, he asked why I never told him my family had so much money. I tried to explain that I didn't think it was important and didn't want to make him uncomfortable. He knew I was better off, just not how much. That's when he got upset and said something that caught me off guard. He mentioned how I could have helped him with things like gas money or his car repairs a few months ago. He said he wasn't asking for handouts but felt like I was hiding something from him when I could have made things easier. I told him I didn't want to make things awkward by offering money and that I didn't think it was my place to get involved in his finances, but now he says it feels like I wasn't being honest and that maybe I don't trust him enough to share that part of my life. Over the next few weeks, Mike started getting a bit invasive. He looked at my house on Zillow and was shocked by the value. He also started digging into my family members on social media to see what they do and how well off they are. I got really angry and told him I didn't appreciate him prying into my family's business and that my finances aren't his concern. Mike said he was just trying to understand my lifestyle but it felt like he was crossing a line. I never meant for this to be such a big deal. I was just trying to avoid making him feel uncomfortable or less than me. I thought my family's finances were irrelevant. Now I'm wondering if I should have been more open from the start. Yesterday I called Mike and asked if we could meet up for coffee to talk things over. He agreed. I explained that my family's finances are private and not my business to share. The money isn't even technically mine, it's my parents'. That's why I didn't tell him. Mike didn't take it well. He asked how I could watch him struggle for months and not do anything. How I pretended to care while not understanding his situation. I told him I did care and have been supportive, tried to get him a job at my parents' store, gave him rides, offered gas money whenever he drove me, and supported him emotionally. I acknowledge that I don't understand his struggles because I haven't lived them, but I've done my best to be there for him. Mike dismissed all that, saying it wasn't the point. For him, it was about trust. He felt I kept something significant from him and wondered what else I was hiding. He said it wasn't about the money but about feeling unsupported. He felt there was now a huge gap between us and that he would never be equal to me. At that point, I got really frustrated. I told him he was asking for handouts and reminded him of our previous conversation where he said I could have helped with his car and gas I explained that the money he wanted wasn't even mine it's my family's. I couldn't just bail him out of his financial problems. I also emphasized how I supported him in other ways. I'm embarrassed to admit I lost my cool and almost started yelling. After I calmed down I told him I would never shame him for his struggles and that my family loves him regardless of his financial situation. We talked a bit more but eventually I told him I wanted to break up. It wasn't just about hiding my wealth but about him digging into my family's private lives. It was a breach of trust I couldn't overlook. Mike also said he wanted to break up because the financial gap was too big and our lives were too different. We ended the conversation and went our separate ways. Luckily, he goes to a different school, so I won't see him around much. I'm feeling a mix of sadness and relief. I do love him, and it was my first relationship, so I wanted it to work. But I'm also relieved because I wasn't sure I could handle what Mike might do if I stayed. I didn't like him snooping into my family's lives. I'm wondering if I made a mistake ending things now, and it really sucks. Was I too harsh? I'm not even sure. I don't think I'll be dating anytime soon. I'm not eager to jump back into it. And just to clarify, Mike's car is old and used, gifted to him by his uncle. It's about eight years old and heavily used. Mike doesn't know the full extent of my parents' assets. He just knew we were better off than he thought, which is why he started digging into my family's information. Even I don't know all the details of our finances my parents keep that private. 
The more I think about it, the more I believe that it wasn't just about the money or the differences in our financial situations. It was about how he handled those differences. I tried my best to support him emotionally and practically, even if I didn't provide financial help. I thought that would be enough. But he seemed to focus only on what he didn't have compared to what I did, rather than appreciating the support I was offering. I also keep going back to how he started digging into my family's private lives. I never thought I'd have to deal with someone invading my personal space like that, especially someone I cared about. It felt like a betrayal and a breach of privacy. But I couldn't continue a relationship with someone who would act that way, no matter how much I cared for them. The decision to break up wasn't easy. It's my first relationship and I was really invested. But I knew I had to prioritize my own well-being and the respect I expect in a relationship. I needed to set boundaries and Mike's actions pushed me to enforce them. It's painful to end things, especially when you still have feelings for someone, but sometimes it's necessary to move forward and protect yourself. Now that we've broken up, I'm trying to focus on myself and process everything. It's strange and a bit lonely to think about dating again after all this, especially since I'm still dealing with the aftermath of this relationship. I hope that in time I can look back and see this as a learning experience. I hope Mike grows from it too and learns how to handle difficult emotions and situations better in the future. For now I'm taking it one day at a time and trying not to rush into anything. I'm still processing my emotions and figuring out what I want moving forward. It's a tough situation, and while I don't hate Mike, I do think we were too different in the end. I wish him well and hope he finds the happiness and stability he's looking for. Commenter 1 NTAIC Red Flags You are right to keep your family's finances private. You know what's theirs is theirs. An 8-year-old car is basically brand new, especially if it's made in 2016. That's just ridiculous. You absolutely made the right move. You'll process this. It'll hurt. It'll suck. But you will get stronger and wiser because of all this. Awesome you stuck to your convictions and what you believed and good on you for understanding your worth. Good luck. Commenter to my car is 14 years old and runs fine unless you live in the salt mines 8 is nothing. Commenter 3 so true. I drive a 2010 Toyota Camry and will do so until it finally dies. 1. Because I like not having a car payment and 2. It still looks and drives great even having 145,000 miles on it. Commenter 4 op I hate to break it to you, but this relationship was done the moment he asked for a handout and said he wasn't asking for a handout. This is code for give me money but I don't have to thank you because it's not a handout. Being turned into your boyfriend's piggy bank is not healthy. I wish you the best of luck for future relationships. This was your first relationship and whatever mistakes you made are well within the normal range. Doing things wrong is normal, and the first one hurts the most when it fails and it usually fails. It's also pretty normal to find out the first guy you are date is not compatible with you. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.